Hey Social Cruiters, welcome. Darren Persinger here, founder of socialcruiting.com. We're two months into this new year, so I have some questions for you. It's, it's time for you to sit back and look at what's working and what's not working right now. So if you have the desire to grow your brokerage or your office, if you wanna add more agents, more productive agents to your company, or if you have the need, if you know that if you don't have agents that are producing, and they're generating income for you, soon you're out of business. Let's take a look at this to see if you're on track, if you're doing the right things that you need to do to grow your business, okay? So the first thing you need to look at is the number of connections you've made over the last two months, since the beginning of the year, okay? So the number of connections that you've made. Now connections are people that you have actually connected with. Whether you've uh, they've sent you an email, you've had a phone call with them, you met them at a broker's open, you met them at a networking event, uh, an agent introduced you to them, you tweeted with them, you Facebooked with them, whatever it is. But it has to be a connection, not just going down to the uh, local board or somewhere online and buying an email list of everyone in your board and spamming them with email. It has to be a true connection. How many agents have you connected with since the beginning of the year? So then the next question is, how many appointments? How many appointments have you had since the beginning of the year. So you meet some people, you have a connection with them, whether it's online or whatever, you wanna move those to appointments, and then the only other thing that matters, number of recruits hired. How many recruits have you hired since the beginning of the year? These three numbers are really the only thing that matters, even though I talk about a lot of stuff in social recruiting. The whole idea of social recruiting is the activity to get us to these points, to help us have more connections so that we can have more appointments, so that we can have more recruits hired, so that they can join our brokerage, we can help them build their business, so that they help us build ours. Go look at your numbers right now, see how many connections you have, how many appointments have you had since the beginning of the year, and how many recruits you've had hired. Now, two other questions I want you to ask yourself with this, so you know what these three numbers are. The next thing you need to ask yourself is what will happen in the next two months if they look exactly the same as the last two months, okay? What will happen to your business, to your job maybe, if the next two months look exactly like the last two months? You go through these numbers and this is zero, this is zero, and this is zero. There's a trend there and the next two months might look like that. So look at this. What will happen in the next two months if, the, if they look like the last two months? And the next question you need to ask yourself is what can I improve on? Where do I need to get better at? Do I need to have more ways to get connections? Do I have to do a better job of moving those connections to appointments or do I need to do a better job in those appointments moving those agents to actually getting hired, to joining my brokerage? So these are the five questions you need to look at as you move forward, take some time. These questions shouldn't take any more than an hour. So you can find an hour tonight or tomorrow to lock these down in, quiet place and go over these numbers and start moving forward with the growth of your business.